So growing up was normal. I mean, we're from from a very deep rooted Christian, um, you know, uh, family. My dad was a traditional ruler. He was an AZ at that time, and um, a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right. Normal living, normal upgoing, but very strict and stringent conditions. My mother, you know, <laughs> made sure we got the uh, the values and the morals, the morals, you know, being thrown at us at every point in time. So we're not even allowed to make mistakes. And when you make mistakes, there's a lot of slap that will no need to tell you, you just sit down and have a normal conversation. Your slap is going to correct your mistakes for you. So that's how I grew up and that has made me... Then I, I, I didn't like the way we were taught, how, you know, taught growing up. But now I'm beginning to appreciate the morals and values my parents instilled on us. Honestly speaking, between you and I, I have really never been this frank or very open. Um, I, I didn't set out to be an actor. Much as I knew I read theatre arts in the, um, uh, in the University of Port Harcourt, but I didn't really set out to say, okay, this is going to be my chosen career from God. No. I was thinking of just going to do normal courses like maybe law, or maybe a sociology. I was actually looking at going to all those very laid back departments apart from law and wanted to just graduate, go into my husband's house, stay, have children, bear children and just maybe nine to five work and all that if, if it's necessary. That's how I actually thought I was going to because that's how my mother is until she, my, she, um, my dad, she lost, we lost our dad. So um, surprisingly, <clears throat> when I wrote my jam, I, uh, my parents made sure I put law as my first course, uh, my first choice in the, in the University of Science and Technology there and then Ilefe as the second. But for some divine visitation or reason, I don't know, when I was going to submit that jam form, I quickly erased <laughs> what my parents wanted me to read. And I just say, what level, what level? Is this sociology? What level would I do? English? No. I just put theatre arts. And for me, my cut-off point was overboard, and that's how I found myself, you know, going, in, uh, you know, into the University of Potaco. When I succeeded in erasing <laughs> the law, uh, where they said we should fill fill up for law, and then inserted theatre at the University of Potaco. Um, when the result came out of a shoot my uh, target line, what they call it, my cut-off point. And I was again admission into the University of Port Harcourt. When that result came out, eh? Hmm. My father was the first person that saw it. <laughs> and didn't say a word. Because he's a traditional ruler, so he's always in the house when they probably bring meals to him and all that. <clears throat> so my mother, he didn't say a word, we were at home. So when my mother came in from work, she used to work with an NNPC then. And I came in to say hello to my mother. Apparently she had opened the letter. So they were just looking at me. I said, what's wrong? I said, mommy, welcome, what's wrong? <clears throat> they said, what is this? I kept quiet. I didn't say a word. And I said, mommy, I don't know what happened. My friends were feeling for theatre arts and there was nobody that knew there was going to be River State of Science of Science and Technology at that time. So I wanted to just be with my group of, you know, that was the excuse I gave. And it was from the sincerity of my heart. I didn't want to say anything apart from that. <clears throat> so my parents looked at you and said, go ahead. And so that's where I started reading my well, my it's not my preferred course. It's just uh, my I know it was a course born out of circumstances, circumstances. So I, I said I, I started reading theatre arts, and surprisingly, I was I, I got caught up with the whole intrigue, with the whole creativity, with the whole you know research of, of arts, how it started from Dionysus to you know the the Greek mythology. It was so interesting. So I just had to bury myself into reading all the courses. So they all kind of 
formed me and I'm just such a creative person. When I'm not doing anything, all I do is just sit down and start imagining all sorts of, <laughs> all sorts of things I, I can't, you and I, I don't even want to talk about it, all, unimaginable. So yeah, so that's how.